Now I want to show you how we, you would use relative and absolute positioning together. Now let's just start with absolutely positioning one of these elements. So as usual I have three div tags, uh, three div containers rather, they're all stacked on top of each other. I haven't assigned these divs any other properties except as you look here just a background color so we could see it. So the first thing we'll do is let's absolutely position one. So we'll go to one. I'll add the property position and it will be absolute. And now I'm going to add right to it and I'll say zero so it aligns all the way to the right. And now let me give it a width so we know because by default it's just going to stretch out the entire length of the screen. And I'll give it 300 pixel width. Okay, so let's look at the result over here. Now we see that before one was on the was on top, but since I at right here, since I absolutely positioned it, it went out of the normal document flow. I positioned it to the right zero pixels. So when I move it, when I move the browser like this, one always sits here, uh, always sits to the right. Now. The reason why that is is we haven't defined anything that one is going to sit to the right relative to. So that means that our property is going to be our right zero is going to be right to the browser chrome. Completely zero pixels from the right of the browser chrome. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one, two, and three inside of a container. And I'm going to name that div container. Well, you probably guessed it, container. So here we go. Actually, I've already done this ahead of time. And here's my container div right over here. And basically, now I need, let me declare it up in my style over here. Container. And that the only thing I'm going to do to, here's the other thing I'm going to do to container. I'm going to define a width for it so we see exactly what we're doing. Okay, and position, I'm going to make it relative. Now the interesting thing is is that this relative positioning isn't going to affect the container. It's actually going to affect the things within the container because now we have one absolutely positioned to the right 300 pixel, um, to the right 0 pixels and that was to the browser Chrome but now it's going to be to the container. So let's see what that ends up looking like. Oh, you see how all of a sudden now this thing is to the right still, zero pixels to the right, but this time to the right of this invisible container. Actually, what I'll do is just so we you see exactly what I'm talking about. If I if I put some padding on this thing, just about 10 pixels and I'll set a background color as well so we just see just so we could see the outer borders of how this is working okay there we go you can even squeeze it even more so here's our container with the with the padding of 10 pixels but we absolutely positioned one see let me squeeze this to the side and what happened is we absolutely positioned one zero pixels to the right and there it is so what do you think would happen if I took out relative positioning from container here's my guess if I took out relative positioning from the container one would go zero pixels to the Chrome to the browser Chrome because since nothing else is defined the default relative positioning is to the browser Chrome let's see if I'm right ah of course